What is up, Unison Gamers? This is Michael Sean from Unison Games, coming at you with a little bit of news in the trading card community. One of the things that I want to start doing on this channel a little bit more now that we're sort of um, doing a little bit less openings because things are starting to open up. You can actually physically go to a Unison Games tournament, win some packs, open some packs. We're going to focus less on opening, more on tournament stuff, and news, things like that. Kind of similar to how the channel used to be. We're not going anywhere with the openings. The openings are still going to be happening. They're just going to be in slightly less frequency. So if you love this channel because the openings don't go anywhere, we got openings coming as well. But we're also in kind of a lull. There's no new sets coming out um, until early August. So for the next couple weeks, I'm going to focus a little bit on news as well as some openings that just haven't quite made it up yet. So, um, so this is the first batch of news and unfortunately we're starting out on a not good note for our YouTube community here. It is currently July 21st and yesterday, July 20th, we received some news from Wizards of the Coast about the Transformers trading card game. This has been one of my favorite games. As you guys know, if you've seen this channel before, my favorite game is Pokemon. Number two game has been Transformers for the last year and a half. And um, number three is Magic, generally. And so I have been raving to everybody that Transformers is an amazing game. I like Transformers better than Magic, which is a big deal because Wizards of the Coast makes both Transformers and Magic. I've been saying that for a while. I like the mechanics better. I like the team that designs the game better. All that stuff. I've been raving about Transformers, and yesterday, somebody texted me, a friend of mine, shout out to Winter, hashtag Team Metroflex, said, have you heard the news about Transformers? And I said, no, I need to go check this out. So first I went to the Facebook group, and right pinned to the top of the page was this article that I later verified with Wizards of the Coast's actual website. Let me just read you the article, I'll throw it up on the screen. Bloop. It says this. Titan Masters Attack is the Transformers TCG final release. For those of you guys that don't realize, Titan Masters Attack, the set, I believe I have a booster pack for it right here, that was the set that just came out like last month. It is Wave 5 of the Transformers trading card game. That was apparently the last release. Here's what the article says. For over two years, Wizards of the Coast has worked to create a great action TCG brand with the Transformers TCG. While the retailer and player community continued to grow, our product offerings didn't meet the expectation of the broader fan base to engage further with the brand. Additionally, the current global situation posed by COVID-19 pandemic presented an additional hurdles. As such, Titan Masters Attack, released on May 29th, is the game's final TCG release. We are informing our players and retailers so they can make the best decisions regarding event participation and product ordering. The Transformers TCG team wishes to recognize the tremendous effort that fans and retailers put into building a great community. And here's a quote from the global brand manager of Wizards of the Coast. The Transformers TCG was truly a labor of love for the Wizards team, and we saw that enthusiasm and love echoed by players across the world, said Drew Nalesco, Wizards of the Coast global brand manager. We are grateful to our fans, content creators, retailers, and distributors for the enthusiasm they brought to the game. The Greater Transformer TCG fan community is perhaps the best TCG community I've had the privilege of working with, till all are one. So that is the message that we received from Wizards of the Coast. Now, anybody can go on Facebook and get that message, but what I want to do is give you my thoughts on why this is going on, which I've already shared with another member of Team Metroflex, uh, Dave and Gunner, both of them, they're my Transformer dudes. Um, they are the ones that kind of made Team Metroflex a thing with me, so that is awesome. And I talked to them a little bit about what's going on here, what I think is going on here, just from what I know of being a consumer of TCG News and being a player and a store owner and working with the different companies and things like that. So here's the deal. Transformers is made by this company, Wizards of the Ghost. Mm -hmm. I have said many times that I do not like this company. They, I don't think they make good decisions about a lot of things. The way that they handle themselves is generally in pursuit of greed more than it is in pursuit of anything else. I don't like this company. However, 
They make Magic and Transformers, two of my favorite games. Magic the Gathering is the best-selling trading card game. It has the widest community. It makes the most money as far as sealed product is concerned. You cannot argue with the fact that Wizards of the Coast is, are, are putting out decent products. The problem is like the way that they manage things, the decisions that they make, the cards they decide to print, the mistakes that they make are generally made because they're in pursuit of money more than anything else. And I don't think that that is always Wizards of the Coast's fault, especially in this situation. So here's the deal. Um, first of all, business is, 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 it has to be at least to a large degree about making money. So there's nothing wrong with looking at profit, making decisions based on where your profit is. That's how you have to run a business. I get that. I'm a business owner. I own or have a very large part in three different businesses. I get that you have to make money. You got you to gotta make decisions based on where the money's coming in. So I totally understand that. There's a difference, though, between making decisions based on profit loss and making decisions based on greed and what's best for your company instead of trying to provide a quality service that people want to give you their money to have. So that hopefully that makes sense to you guys. However, like I said, I don't think that it's only primarily Wizards of the Coast's fault. I think that they, the people there, it's probably a large, large portion of the blame can be attributed to them for that. But another portion of the blame, I think, can be attributed to their mother company, actually. So Wizards of the Coast is actually owned by Hasbro. Hasbro, I'm sure, even if you're not a trading card person, you probably know what Hasbro is. Hasbro makes toys, primarily, um, and uh, one of their biggest sellers is Transformers action figures. They've yeah. been the dudes that have owned the Transformers trademark for a long, 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 long time. And so one of the unfortunate things about this, sometimes when Transformers or sometimes when trading cards get dropped by one company, another company that has seen the game and said, oh, that's a cool game, will buy the license from you. That won't happen in this situation because Hasbro owns the licensing. Hasbro license it to Wizards of the Coast, which is their company. They're not going to sell that licensing to anybody else. It's not going to happen because why would they do that? If they sell that licensing to someone else, now someone else is a competitor for their company, Wizards of the Coast. So that's not that like they won't do that. So if Wizards of the Coast doesn't make the game, I don't think anybody else is going to make the game either. I'd be very, very surprised if that happened. Well, Hasbro, as the owners of Wizards of the Coast, is looking to Wizards of the Coast and saying, Wizards of the Coast, make us money. So they obviously have to pay some sort of something to Hasbro already, just base. But there's a, 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 a quote in this article that sort of gives insight into what exactly Hasbro was looking for, I think. So here is here it's the second sentence of this uh, release. Okay. While the retailer and player community continued to grow, our product offerings didn't meet the expectation of the broader fan fan base to engage further with the brand. So the brand that they're referring to is Transformers. In the greater brand of Transformers, you have Transformers as like a toy, right? They've always primarily been like a toy company, right? So Transformers, you have the toys, and from that you have all the cinematic things, whether that be TV shows, movies, whatever, and you have the trading card game as a small sliver of the Transformer brand. So I think what was happening here is Hasbro came to Wizards of the Coast, or Wizards, whatever, whoever started the engagement, and Hasbro said, make us a Transformers trading card game that causes trade the trading card community, this little sliver of the Transformers brand, right? People like me, that I'm not into toys, I'm into trading cards. So like, because you offer a game of Transformers, make them, let's make a game that makes them want to engage with the Transformers brand, primarily toys, further. So what that means is that now, Hasbro is not only making money from the sliver of profit that Wizards of the Coast gives them for the Transformers game, right? Because they get some of that profit that goes to Wizards of the Coast funnels through Wizards of the Coast into Hasbro because Hasbro owns Wizards of the Coast and they own the license to Transformers. So we want to make money there, and I'm sure they were doing so. But also, over here, we want your players to go and buy Transformers toys. And when you buy a Transformers toy, that profit doesn't go to Wizards of the Coast and then Hasbro goes directly to Wizards or directly to Hasbro because they own the, the, the soul, they're the sole owners of the owner of the Transformers stuff there. Now maybe like obviously like distributors and manufacturers are getting a cut of that, but primarily it's going to Hasbro. And so I think what Hasbro was envisioning for this game was, hey, we'll make money off the cards. 
but will also make money as a larger brand because the card game exists, because all these gamers are going to want to get into Transformers further and buy toys. Now here's my question. Some of you guys have played Transformers. How many of you guys have played the Transformers trading card game and then said, oh, I love Transformers, I'm going to go buy some action figures? I would imagine not very many of you. Now, how many of you guys were into Transformers? Maybe as a kid, you bought the toys, you've seen the movies, whatever. You watched the TV shows. How many of you guys got into the trading card game? That's a big number. I know that because I got my dad hooked on this trading card game. He's never played it. Well, actually, he used to play the Marvel vs. System trading card game with me way back when that was a thing. But uh, but for most for, for the most part, he doesn't really play trading cards. You know, he's not that kind of nerd. But like... Um, he loved Transformers as a kid. He watched the TV shows. He probably had the toys, right? He's watched the movies as they come out. And so he was engaging with the brand, like capital B brand, right? And so because of that, I got him into the trading card game. Well, what's happening there is you're taking Hasbro's customers and turning them into Wizards of the Coast customers, which gives most of their profit to Wizards of the Coast and then a small bit to Hasbro. Does that make sense? So that's... I don't think what Hasbro was envisioning, what Hasbro was envisioning was taking the trading card community and turning them into Hasbro customers. And that didn't happen because trading card gamers are into trading card games. Like I, when you're into trading cards, there's not much more that you can be into because you're so invested in that hobby. You're not like, I'm into comic books. Like if you, if you like, boom, those are all comic books. That was my, that was my first Nerd adventure. I'm into comic books. And I'm into games. I don't have money to be into toys too. And by the way, I live in an apartment. I don't have space to be into toys either. Um, so there's there's all you know. There's a lot of factors. I'm not going to go out and buy toys from you just because you make a game that I like too. And so I don't know that that was the best business model. Um, I'm not sure. I'm also this is speculation. Like this, I could be totally off here, but it really seems like that's what the sentence means. And I think that that's why they weren't happy with the game. Now, the game overall, I'm not saying Transformers like completely conquered the trading card game world when it came in to play. You know, this wasn't the number one selling game. Like, nothing is going to outsell Magic right now. Um, maybe in the future we'll get to that place. Nothing's going to outsell Magic, right? Nothing's going to replace Pokemon as the solid number two, right? Like, nobody, you're not going to outsell Pokemon. Pokemon's been going since 1996. You're not going to outsell it with a game that's been out for a year and a half. You know, Magic's been out since 1994. You're not going to outsell it um, with this game that's only been out for, for a year and a half, right? And, it, and it's been in the top 10 sellers, right? The problem is, is Wizards of the Coast is the game that manufactures the number one. And so, number one, they're looking for lots of profit in a game. And so they come out with Transformers, and Transformers down at number six, number seven, number eight, whatever. The bottom half of the top ten list, they say, oh, this isn't catching on like Magic caught on. Now, what you need to realize is that when Magic started, it was literally the only trading card game. There was nothing to compare it to. It, nothing else existed. It was the first one. Even in the late 90s, there wasn't as many trading card games as there are now. There's so, so, so many trading card games out, and there's more being pumped out, especially worldwide, if you like include Japan or include other parts of the country that have a similar market to Japan. There are new games coming out over and over and over and over and over. I mean, just since Transformers came out, I personally have probably played maybe four or five other trading card games that came out. You know, like for me, it was like Transformers came out, I got into Transformers. Well, well, shortly before that, Final Fantasy had come out. Well, I, I was getting into Final Fantasy, and I was getting into Bakugan got a re-release that was a trading card game instead of just toys. Like, that was cool, so I got into that a little bit. You know, I got into Argent Saga for a little while. I got into Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar Champions for a little while. Like, there were all these games that were coming out, and now there's all this competition, and Wizards of the Coast seems to not be satisfied unless it is rising above the competition and transformers was rising above the competition but not enough to where wizards of the coast was like i want to produce this game now if transformers had been produced by another trading card game company that maybe owned some of these smaller games like if it was coming out by i don't i don't know who but like if say it was produced by the same dudes that did like square enix does does final fantasy and they obviously own the soul licensing so forget hasbro for a second if it was coming out with final fantasy transformers sold better than final fantasy for a, a, most of the time that it was here so like that they would be happy with that but 
But because this is the company that makes Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and & Dragons and games like that that sell like crazy, Transformers was probably by far its lowest selling game. So for that company, you know, companies are always looking to move forward. And if they're dragging this Transformers game behind them, pouring maybe more resources in than, than is worth it when you look at your uh, ROI, right, your return on investment, they're going to drop the game. And so it's unfortunate. So I think we have two, two, two indicators that this game is definitely done, that it's not going to get picked up unless Wizards of the Coast actually picks it up. The one indicator I already mentioned is that Wizards of the Coast is owned by Hasbro. Hasbro is not going to sell the licensing for Transformers that they own to anybody but their company that makes games. They, they would, why would they do that? They would be losing money and creating competition for their company. So they're not going to do that. And then the second one is what I just said. Their company makes Magic mm -hmm. at the Gathering. Magic the Gathering, right? Transformers, it's only been out for a year and a half. It's not going to be comparable to Magic the, my Magic the Gathering. I don't know why I want to say Magic of the Gathering for, for whatever reason, but Magic the Gathering, like, it's not going to be Magic. There, there's there's too many fans of Magic, there's too many super fans of Magic, too many people super invested in this. The game's been out for a long time, right? 1994, that's, that's you know, that's 25 years. That's more than 25, 26 years. So, um, yeah, so I think that that is what's going on here. I needed to bring this to you because I want you guys to understand what's going on in the Transformers trading card game. I understand that things are about profit and loss, but I do not think... According to this article, I don't think that they had very realistic expectations when making this game. I think this game is a very dedicated fan base. I think this game has super high collectability. I think this game has amazing mechanics. It's it's the most original game, which is weird because it's coming from the people that made Magic, which was original, but now it's been like, like everybody steals the mechanics of Magic for their games. There's no like no connection between Magic except for maybe you could argue tapping, but like you have to tap like you can't not tap so uh, but like the the transformers is so original it's a fantastic game the team that was doing transformers did an amazing amazing job even though i do not like wizards of the coast as a company this team that did transformers did an incredible job uh, marketing this game making the game mechanics answering questions about the game building community all of that stuff there's several youtube channels that are incredibly popular um that have have covered this game, that have built the community for this game. I love this game. I don't want to see it go. There is a petition going around to sign it, to bring it back. I'm not sure how successful that's going to be. Like I said, I think the only way that this game could continue to be produced is if Wizards of the Coast reneges on their decision and decides to pick the game back up again, which I would say is incredibly unlikely, because most likely the team that made this game has already been fired or moved to somewhere else in the company. Um, so they would have to rehire those, hopefully rehire those people and, uh, remake production, renew all those contracts. It would take a lot of work probably to get this. Cause if you're to the point that you're announcing it to public, you've already put your ducks in a row on the back end. And, uh, so it would take a lot of work for them to do so. Now, who knows? Maybe if we make enough waves, they would bring it back. I'm not sure, but I am definitely disappointed with this. And, uh, I was sad. I was like legitimately like, I wasn't crying or anything, but I was, like, getting emotional reading it. I was like, man, I love this game. I've pushed this game. I've invested in this game. I've taught people how to play this game. I was the first one in Connecticut running Transformers tournaments. Unison Games was the first ones in Connecticut. Now, I'm not saying that's, like, a huge thing. Unison Games is a small small business right now, but um, but it's still... I love this. Joe's to show you how much I love and believe in this game. So I hope this game works out. Um, I do hope that there's things to do. I'll throw a link in the description to um, to the petition that's going around. And, of course, uh, on our Facebook page, you can also find that. So, um, anyway, I want to know what your thoughts were, okay? So, I want to know, first of all, do you play Transformers? Are you sorry to see it go? I'm sure if you play, you're sorry to see it go. Number two, what are you going to miss most about the game? And number three, what was your favorite thing about the Transformers trading card game? Let's get, keep the good memories rolling. What was your favorite thing? about the Transformers trading card game, which is a hard question for me to answer. Right now, what's coming to mind just instantly is Dinobots, because I love dinos, and uh, Dinobots, it's just they were just a ton of fun. Just really, really cool. Grimlock just being good right out the gate in Wave 1. 
was really cool, and I do feel like Dinobots has been like one of the deck to decks to beat, um, just because it's so powerful, so strong, so fast, and uh, I like the the ease of it. It's cool to bring new people in and do things like that. But hey, my timer just said that it's been 20 minutes, which means it's time for me to shut up and make a new video instead of keep talking about this. So like I said, let us know. Did you play the Transformers trading card game? Are you starting to see it go? What will you miss most about the tra Transformers trading card game? And what was your favorite mechanic, memory, whatever, about the Transformers trading card game? Hit me up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you aren't already a subscriber, please do become a subscriber. Hit that like button on this video if you liked it. We're coming out with all kinds of new content. We would love for you guys to get notified about that. I just came off a of vacation, which means that um, there's going to be more content coming because it's been a week of very little content. So let's do it. Let's do this together. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next video.